This is version two of my uh, CMG gyroscope. Uh, it's a cheap gyroscope, only cost about $15. And the problem with this one is the rotor doesn't have a big enough diameter. So you really got to spin it up fast to get any self balancing or to get any balancing. And uh, so next time I try something like this, I'm going to have to buy a more expensive one that has a big rotor, a thick rotor like this one, heavy rotor, but uh, a bigger diameter. Uh, you double the diameter and you get four times the, the inertial mass, inertia. Uh, if you double the speed, you only get two times. So the best way to increase uh, the effectiveness of a of a rotor is just to double the diameter or to increase the diameter. Um, and uh, let's see, improvements. I put in a little, uh, you can't see it, but in there there's a little uh, two millimeter by five millimeter uh, bearing. And I also put one in the top there. You can't see it. But uh, it keeps the shaft uh, from bending. And uh, so that has really helped a lot uh, to keep the noise down and the vibration down. And then the other thing is I increased the motor size to 260. 260, I think this is, from a 180. The 180 was uh, getting very hot. 260, this runs up to 20,000 RPM and it doesn't get hot. And so I will turn it on and see if it will stay balanced. Spinning it up. And you can see it not wobbling too much, but eventually it will just get worse and worse. So I gotta get some more more RPM in there. So it's gonna get noisy. Yeah. I think what it does is it, it's got some vibration in it and it kind of jumps around and resets itself. But it's staying pretty well. Precessing, but it kind of resets the precessing. You can see it jumping around there. And so it'll precess a lot, it'll jump around, and then it'll preset, preset a little bit less. And you can see it wobbling back and forth. It's part of the precessing. But I think it'll go indefinitely.
see it balancing on two, two points. I guess the only way I could really improve this one is you can see the motor is still held on with a, a zip tie. You know, it's allowing probably a little bit of vibration there. And it's also vibrating in the frame itself. But at least it's indefinitely uh, it's precessing a little bit, and about the best I could hope for is to kind of reduce that precession. But it stays self-balancing as well. And the RPM is not extremely high. use this uh, mouse pad because the vibration, if I did it on the table, it would just vibrate all over the table and twist and turn. You need some kind of rubber or something. But something I found also is if you have a shorter distance between the two legs, uh, it's easier to balance. The longer the legs are apart from each other, the more torque is required to self balance. Yes, it's balancing quite nicely. forever and didn't learn anything new. So I'll turn it down. Let's see, I'll turn it up a little bit. See if it decreases the precession. Yeah. That decreases the precession. I got some more inertia going on. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Just noisy.
very steady. <laughs> 